friends welcome back in today's video i'm so so excited to bring you picmonic it is a tool that i've been using to study for nursing school and it actually has helped me a ton i just want to thank you so 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 much picmonic for sponsoring today's video um even though today's video is sponsored i do want to mention that all my opinions are honest and true so make sure you guys stick around for today's review and how i study with picmonic if you are new here, my name is Alexis. I am a nursing student. I am actually going back into my third semester. Um, it's a little different for me because I am part of the nights and weekends program. So we did our first and second semester and then we did have the entire summer off, which was phenomenal. And the time went out the window, it flew by. Um, but we are going back into our third and fourth semester and I'm so nervous. I actually get to go into my OB clinical rotations and my psych rotations. I am beyond excited to do my OB clinical rotation just because that is somewhere where I might see myself when I'm done with school. So I'm really excited to go through that and be a part of that and experience it. So I actually really do enjoy the nights and weekends programs because our class does not start till 5 p.m. at night. And I feel like that's incredible because it gives you that opportunity to be able to wake up kind of do like a slow morning routine. If you want to go to work, that's fine. Um, but I really like to take care of myself. So I like to wake up, do my workout, maybe do like some personal development. I might study before I go into class. I might um, pre-read our lecture notes, stuff like that. Um, but sometimes those lecture notes are not available until class time starts. So that's kind of frustrating. But in our clinicals is actually, well, not anymore. Um, they used to be every other weekend. Um, now they're a little different. They are a little more consecutive and then they kind of hop around a little bit. Um, so I did have to change my point status at work which just means that I have to change my shifts around and how many times I'm working a week. Um, but I am back down to PRN, so I'm just as needed. I just kind of make my own schedule um, and just work whenever I feel like I can work um, because sometimes it's just overwhelming. I mean, nursing school, there's a ton of information. It's just so much and so little time, and it's just so compressed and um, squeezed into a very short amount of time with a lot of packful information. But as far as studying goes, I do not do very well with just studying from my textbook and studying from material that was handed to me by our instructor. Um, a lot of the studying that I do is actually practice questions um, and Picmonic's great for that because I'm a huge visual learner. Like I have to see it to remember it. Um, and just uh, with a lot of the pictures and just um, mnemonics and things that are giving you pointers and things to remember and just like so many different details that if you're in the middle of exam and you're like, oh, that's right. Like, I remember that picture. Like, I remember this uh, mnemonic. Like, there's so many little like details that are going to help you remember how to answer a question or remember something about the question. Because sometimes it's not all about the answer. It's how to break down the question and what they're truly asking. And I feel like when you study just based off of lecture, you're just studying for the answer itself and you're not really digesting and grasping what the question is really asking you and how to digest down and um, narrow down your answers based off the question question that is given to you. But as far as studying with Picmonic, it is amazing because if you guys have just a spare like five to ten minutes i'm telling you guys you can study on the go with this app because you can download the app onto your phone and you can do it at work if you want to do it in the car if you're on a long car ride and you want to do a few um practice questions and quizzes and all the things if you guys seriously just take a moment out of your time just to use your phone i mean a lot of us are on our phone anyway so I feel like when you actually take a, just like five to 10 minutes and do a couple practice questions, I feel like it's really gonna help you understand how to answer NCLEX style questions because you're really digesting material and like getting different um, like views of studying. Um, so if you're studying from like YouTube videos and not just your lectures, not just notes, like if you have different forms of studying and incorporate different materials and different things and watch videos here and there and do this and it all adds up and you are going to really help create that memory and being able to remember a lot more and how to answer questions. So what I really do like about the app is that when you go to the home page, there's just so much different material that you can look at. You can also look through the search button. So like, let's say you want to search something specific. So like fluid and electrolytes or um, a certain medication or um, just something like more specific. Or if you're like, like, let's say I'm going to go into my OB rotation. I'm going to start looking up OB or pediatric um, mnemonics and being able to look at different things related to the topic that I'm searching for. 
Um, so it does have like a little search button up the top and you can just search through and find things that are related to what you are learning. Um, when you go through the browse section, I really like this because it does have a lot of books on here. And what's really neat is that all of the books that I'm using for nursing school, like I have some behind me and it's literally the same exact ones on Picmonic. Like how cool is that? So it's like an ebook for your books, but instead of um, like your book itself, it's actually giving you like pictures and like different things to remember things by and do more practice questions and just another way of learning. And I really like the fact that they have all the books that I have, especially the um, psychiatric book. I can see it right here on the homepage. I have that book and I'm sure I'm going to have to use it for next semester with our psych classes and lecture material and exams and all that thing. So. And then um, when you go down, it actually gives you different options to study with. So like if you're studying for the NCLEX or your HESI or um, ATI, like there's different ones that you can study for. Um, I wish I had this prior to nursing school when studying for the HESIs and stuff because I feel like it could have definitely helped me um, in the long run. There is a playlist so you can add um, certain things to your own playlist to have them like all organized. And yeah, that's pretty much it on the app. I really, truly enjoy it. I seriously think it's amazing. Um, maybe I can browse something really quick just to show you guys kind of like an example of the Picmonics. So when you come in here, when you go to the anatomy of the body, you're going to go down to your cranial nerves, for example. Um, so you can actually um, press play and it will play like a video and like um, pretty much like teach you first before you answer questions um, and just give you things to remember by so when you go by or go back to the quiz it will give you that same mnemonic as like a hint to remember it by and you're gonna be like oh yeah duh um, so I really like that so you can go into play and you can either do an educational audio or a story audio so you can do a story audio this is a fight between all the cranial nerves I'm gonna pause the sensory it. nerves have gathered on one side so it's going to talk to you and just give you an example video. Um, you don't have to listen to what they're saying. You can also read along because like underneath it gives you all of like what they're talking about. Um, but it's talking about the cranial nerves and different things to remember them by. And then um, when you exit out of that, you can actually go to the quiz and it'll ask you which of the following cranial nerves has both sensory and motor function. And then you just choose one. I'm gonna choose a random one. So it will just tell you like, hey, that's wrong, but this is correct. And it will just give you like that mnemonic and be like, hey, remember this mnemonic? This is what I was trying to like help you remember. And you go to the next question and it's pretty much just like a little quiz. And I love it. I think it's so, so helpful and just really cool. But overall, the app just has so much information that you can play around with and practice with and even do like refreshers and just use this as like a overview or like a review like even if you're not really um, like in nursing school or like if you want to use this prior to going to nursing school and maybe just do practice um, questions and just kind of like preview the material before you jump into the program I feel like this would be super helpful um, but again I think this would be helpful for anybody regardless of the level of nursing that you're in it's just good review because the anatomy goes over like the different um, cranial nerves and the bones and like all the things and then like this one here is it's a cardiovascular symptom So it's going over heart murmurs cardiac enzymes EKGs and arrhythmias talks about hypertension and hypotension Vascular disorders angina myocardial infarctions or like strokes heart failure I mean it literally goes into detail about so many different things and topics and they're only like 10 minutes or less or like 15 minutes like it seriously doesn't take long at all and I feel like this is just really good to do quick and easy studying. So I also wanted to mention when you hop on their website, I just wanted you guys to see that it's not just for nurses, but you always have um, other options for like LPNs or stuff for medical assistance. Um, you've got physical therapy and just a lot more other options on here. Um, there's plenty of resources that you guys can check out if you want to look at it as well. There's just different resources that can help prepare you for NCLEX, so definitely check it out if you guys are interested. But I also wanted to hop on and show you guys more about the pricing and how much it costs because it's actually super affordable. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So when you hop on and look at their pricing, it's actually super affordable. Um, it's only a few dollars a month, otherwise the like most expensive one is only $12 a month. 
And I think that's because if you like prepay for the yearly membership, it's only $5 a month, technically, like if you broke it down. Um, but then monthly for the like per month and not just like in a bundle, like all at once, it is $12 a month. So I feel like that's super, super affordable. Definitely worth it if you guys plan on using it as a study tool and to help you guys further your education and do better on your tests. All right, guys, but that is it for this video. I really hope you guys find this helpful in some type of way. Um, I really hope you guys find a good study hack with this and play around on the app and see if it's something that you guys would like. I will leave their information down in the description box. But without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys want to leave any video suggestions or suggestions, suggestions, uh, um, down in the description box. I'm always taking new video requests and things you guys want to see. So make sure you guys comment down below what you guys would see, if, would like to see from me. I cannot talk today. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!